This is The Marriage Podcast, and I'm your host, Alexandra Stockwell. I'm a physician turned relationship and intimacy expert, and I specialize in showing couples how to have incredible, passionate relationships. I myself have been married for 25 years. My husband and I have four children and full professional lives, and we've created an amazing relationship. If you want to deepen your understanding of your own relationship and learn to access new heights of emotional, sensual, and erotic intimacy, you're in the right place because I will show you how. Let's dive in. Hey everyone, this is Alexandra, and this is going to be a really phenomenal episode of the Marriage Podcast because you get to hear from both Sarah Longoria and Marco Longoria. Now, I have known Sarah for a few years now. We were both students in a program where we didn't learn that much, but we met one another. So it was a very valuable experience. And we followed one another on social media. And then maybe about a year ago, something shifted and Sarah suddenly was magnetic, compelling, like shiny from the inside out. And where she hadn't really been that interesting for me, suddenly I was so curious, what is happening inside this woman and in this woman's life that she's like bouncing out of my computer screen with so much life-affirming energy? And so I reached out and we connected and now we are friends and she is also my coach. And I'm so excited to speak with you, Sarah. That's my personal introduction. In the more proper professional sense, Marco is a very successful tax attorney and has a dynamic, thriving, successful business. And Sarah also has an incredible business, which I'm hoping we'll hear more about, which she has taken from zero to a multi-million dollar company in just three years. So that's my kind of spontaneous introduction, what would the two of you like people to know about you personally and professionally before we continue our conversation? I don't know. Do you want to go first? Do you want me to go first? Yeah, you can go first. Um, What do I want people to know about me? I mean, I think you summed it up pretty well. I am a business owner who likes to move fast. I am a coach in the business manifestation world, really helping women create the lives and men for that matter that they want. I am a mother, obviously a wife, and I am just really devoted to helping people understand how to have their absolute best life and not settle at any, any stage. And this is, and this is my, my favorite man in the world. (laughs) What do you want to say about you? Uh, Well, I don't know. I'm I'm usually kind of a, a pretty private person, so <laughs> when you say what I want people to know about me, I would say not very much. <laughs> but for the sake of answering your question, you know, who am I? Professional. I have a fairly thriving legal practice. I like to think that I'm a great dad and a great yeah. husband, and you know, I just like to have fun and and try not to take life too seriously. Okay, that's so wonderful. And I love that you said that you're a private person, Marco, because I'm sure that anyone who has been in Sarah's world recently as a client, a student, someone just in awe of what she shares about herself and social media, we all want to know more about you because what is it like to love this impossible, spontaneous, visionary, unpredictable, highly integrity-filled, fun woman? I don't know if you have words to answer, but that is a question that people have. Uh Well, I mean, it's easy, right? Because kind of like you said, I mean, you just want to be around her. Her energy is infectious. I always want to be around her. Mm-hmm. Um, this this whole COVID thing has kind of been a blessing as far as us getting to spend more time together. It makes me, you know, kind of realize that the, the 50, 60 hours uh, a week that I spend at the office is is not really what I want. I like being here with, with Sarah and spending more time with her. And I mean, it's uh, it, it's just easy. I mean, she's, she's fun. We mm-hmm. like to have fun together. I'd and- say except for the 
momentary parts where I'm absolutely frustrated in my spontaneous, crazy, over the topness. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> don't get me wrong, we're definitely different in many ways. Um, I'm, I'm very planned out and I like to stick to the plan and she is not that way. <laughs> I mean, like I said, you just got to have to have fun with it and uh, don't take anything too seriously. Mm -hmm. Well, this brings me to the question that I ask all of my guests, because I really believe that relationships are the ultimate context for individual growth, that being in relationship really inspires and requires personal growth of us. So I'm wondering, I'd like to ask each of you, Sarah, what have you learned about yourself as a result of being married to Marco? Gosh, probably almost everything. Like when I really like there's, you've even made jokes before where you've been like, well, babe, if it wasn't for me, just showing you all the things you needed to shift in your life, we, you wouldn't be where you are today. I mean, it's really the truth. When you understand relationships in that context, that like this person is here to grow you and evolve you, it changes everything. But what I will say, the biggest thing you taught me, and this is probably going to get me all emotional, is that when I look back now, you are such a person that loved me more than I loved myself for so long. And that was, I think, something you showed me. You know, I even look at like raising children with you, how critical I could be of you. Like, oh, you don't talk to the kids that way. Don't do this. And it's like, I look back at moments where I would lose myself with the kids. And like, you would never say anything like that to me. You would always just be like, okay, are you okay? Are you good? Do you want me to take the kids? Like, it was like this, this unconditional acceptance of who I was that I couldn't see because I didn't unconditionally accept myself and then once I did it was like this moment of like oh my god you really kind of unconditionally accepted me all along and I just never really saw it but your example of it is kind of what allowed me to expand into it and I would say that's probably the biggest thing but there's been a million things I mean every time there's something that frustrates me or that, that I know that it's just a reflection of me needing to expand and grow and learn about myself in a deeper level so that we can come together. And I think that's been equal for both of us in a way. Well, I'm really excited that I'm going to have you back so we can go deeper into this, but I'd love to ask you, Marco, what have you learned about yourself as a result of being married to Sarah? I think that, you know, I'm just, that I have so much more room to grow and, and evolve as a person. Um, just seeing, seeing kind of the way she's grown uh, herself as a person and realizing that, you know, what a great person she is and, and that, you know, I'm always looking to see what better ways I can better myself um, to, in some ways to kind of keep up with her uh, a lot of times. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I think both of us have just changed so much over the, the oh nine gosh, years yes. that we've known each other. <laughs> like um, two different humans yeah, in here. <laughs> yeah, really, uh, for both of us. Um, and and I, I like to kind of reminisce about the old days a lot. And she she oftentimes rolls her eyes and, and, and tells me to move on. But um, <laughs> but yeah, we were totally, two totally different people back then. And, and, and it's been, just been fun, kind of the journey mm -hmm. along it the has. way. It has. It has been outrageously fun. Okay, it sounds like a lot of good stories there. For right now, anyone listening, I hope you hear just how dynamic and growth oriented and also incredibly competent both Marco and Sarah are. So if anyone wants to connect with you further, we've heard Marco's private, so I'm assuming you don't really want people to connect with you further, but what about you, Sarah? If people want to learn how to enjoy their lives and how to love themselves more deeply and how to have tremendous success in business, what's the next step? Sure. So they can follow me on all sorts of different social media channels. You can just follow me on Facebook at Sarah Longoria. We are on Instagram at I am Sarah Longoria. We'll have all the links in the show notes. We'll have all the links in there. And then we actually are creating a new beautiful free gift for your audience that really walks them through uh, my signature method and, and how I really use 
what happens in my relationship in a way to take myself much deeper in my own personal development and growth and really expand myself so that I can, we can just keep growing and expanding and have a more beautiful and engaged and lit up life every, every day. Yeah, I have used this method in all kinds of circumstances. I can't recommend it enough. So if you want more in your life, really of anything internal, external, tangible or intangible, I highly recommend that you click on the link in the show notes and have a look at this method, which really is easy to implement. It's just a matter of letting Sarah teach you. So thank you so much. And I definitely want to have you back to continue the conversation. There were all kinds of things that I'm curious to ask about further. Yay. We can't wait. Thank you for joining me for this episode of the marriage podcast. Please rate and review the show on iTunes. It really makes a difference. And if you have a question or a comment, reach out to me via my website at alexanderstockwell.com.